What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is James Jackson checking in with another Machine Masters exclusive tutorial. Uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Isotope's Stutter Edit inside of Machine 2.0. Now, you may remember this tutorial from Machine 1.8. Uh, but the question was asked of me how to make it work in 2.0. A um, couple people just couldn't quite get it figured out. And over email, I, I showed them how to do it. And I figured, you know, it'll just be easier if I make a tutorial to show everybody how it's done. So I'm going to get right into it. Um, the first thing we're going to do is uh, I've got a VST already loaded up on my um, first on my first channel over here. So I'm just going to create a quick melody real quick. So just a quick little, uh, you know, just a choir patch, nothing major. Now, in order for stutter edit to work, what you need to do is you need to go into another group. So I'm going to go to group B here. And on one of your sounds, you need to load up stutter edit. So I'm going to do this from the hardware where I hit shift and browse. Um, we're going to come over to type and go to external and then subtype effect. And now I'm scrolling all the way down and I'm going to load up isotopes stutter edit so there I've got isotope stutter edit loaded up there you have it so now you know when I hit play and try and make stutter edit work nothing happens and the reason for that is is because you actually have not routed uh, the sound to go to stutter edit and the way you do that is we go back to group A or wherever you have your sound is that you want to be affected by the stutter edit plugin. Uh, I'm going to come to group, uh, come to the sound, which is right here. I'm going to click on the channel and we're going to click on output. And right here on output, you see you've got audio, auxiliary, and then you've got MIDI. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're actually going to go to the audio. And where it says destination right now that's going out to the group, what you want it to do is to go out into group B and sound one, which is stutter edit. So just come over here to group, scroll down, and you see you got B1S1, which stands for group B, sound one. Um, and then we click on it. So now this audio is being routed to group B sound one, which has our stutter edit plugin on it. So now I'm going to open stutter edit back up and I'm just going to choose a uh, choose a sound or choose a, uh, you know, effect since it is a vocal effect. I think I should use a, uh, you know, something that's got a little, you know, vocal voice effect going on with it. All right. So now when I hit play and hit uh, one of the keys on the keyboard. You can hear it's being affected by that stutter edit plugin. Now you may ask, why don't I hear any of the choir? And I'm gonna show you that. That's a, you know, there's another quick tip in, st in stutter edit. A lot of the patches don't have a dry gain on them, so you don't hear much of the original patch. So what you want to do is you want to click on this dry gain here, and you just want to turn this up to you know wherever you wherever you want it to be. So now when I hit play. So now you can see it's being affected by the stutter edit. And now you can even go in even further. So what you want to do is you just want to hit shift and record. And now you're going to record the MIDI data on the stutter edit plugin channel. So that way your stutter edit will take effect and it'll stay like so.
So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you route uh, any sound that you have in machine uh, into Isotope Stutter Edit. And of course, you can go in here and you can get really crazy with the sounds and you know make all kinds of things happen. But for the sake of today's tutorial, I'm just going to give you guys just a basic on you know how to get your sound into Stutter Edit. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is James Jackson with MachineMasters.com. Make sure you head over to MachineMasters.com. Uh, right now we're offering two of our kits, the Machine Master Sampler Expansion Kit and the uh, the Breakdown Kit from AG uh, is now free. So you want to head over there and sign up to become either a bachelor member or a master member and make sure you grab those two kits for free. And you also uh, want to check out the Vocal Fillers Pack. Uh, that just came out from MachineMasters.com, uh, $9.99, and it's a very cool pack with a lot of vocal samples. I think a lot of you guys really enjoy it. So once again, this is James Jackson with Machine Masters signing off. Peace.